Hi, welcome to Office Key. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your basic Office Key phone system, which includes initializing your phone system account, add new credits into your Office Key wallet, order new phone numbers, order device accounts, create 911 record, create voicemails, and create auto attendance IVR. So let's get started. First, log into your Office Key administrator account. Go to Company Workspace, select Phone System. For the first time, you will see the welcome screen. Click on Go Ahead button. Provide the phone system default information here. Account name will also be used as the default caller ID name when making public phone calls. Default country prefix is your local country code. Click on continue. Then click on enter configuration panel. Once finished, you will enter into the phone system dashboard. This screen is very useful when you administrate your phone system account. The Register Device section display a list of all the phone devices currently connected to your account. The Active Call section display a list of live calls in your account. And the Summary section display the overall status of your account. Now, to set up the phone system, you need to have some credits in your Office Key wallet. To do so, go to User Menu and select Billing. Select Buy Credit. Under PayPal, click on Pay Now. Once you enter into the PayPal system, enter your amount of credit you wish to add. Confirm the credit amount and log into PayPal. Confirm the amount again and follow the PayPal payment procedures. Once finished, close the payment screen and return back to billing. This may take a couple of minutes to show your new credit arrived into your account. Once the credit is ready, it will be available in the billing dashboard. To view all payment invoices, select Invoice History. You may see the complete breakdown of your payment. Print this invoice for your record. Now, let's go back to set up the phone system. Select Voicemail Account. Create two voicemail accounts for two staff members. Update the voicemail settings. I'm going to use the voicemail to email settings here. You may choose any voicemail mode to fit your needs. Enter the password when accessed by phone. Provide a message to pass along with my email. Now for the next account. Next, go to Number Management. We will now order a new phone number. For this demo, I'm going to use a Canada number, so select Canada local number. This will provide the summary of my order. All charges will be deducted from the Office Key wallet. 
The current charge will be the one-time charge including the current monthly service charge. And the consecutive charge will be the monthly charge starting from the next month. Once ready, click on Buy Now. We are now in the ordering wizard. Click on Next. Select the area of number you wish to order. This will display a list of available numbers. Select the number you like and click on Confirm Order. Confirm the order again. Our order is now finished. Click on Exit Order to return. You now see the number is listed here and is ready to use. I'm going to add another extension number for internal calling. Select Create Internal Extension Number. Enter the extension number and click on Create. Now the new extension number is also here. Add another. Now all three numbers are listed here and is ready to use. One phone number and two extension numbers. We are now ready to set up the extension numbers. Because we want to use this number as a staff extension, so change the extension mode to user extension mode. Link this extension to use by a staff account. Provide the rest of the extension settings. Select the voicemail account. Click OK to save the changes. Now for the next extension number. Next, we need to allow your phones to connect to your phone system. Select Phone Device Account. We will need two device accounts, one per each phone. For the first one, we will order a low usage basic device account. Confirm the charge breakdown on the screen and click on Buy Now. Now for the second account. This time we want to order a business device account for standard usage. Now set up the device account. The primary extension is the extension number you wish to use. The call display is the caller ID when making public phone calls. Now for the second account. Both device accounts are now ready to use. You may go to Number Management to confirm the extension numbers are mapped to these devices. Next, we are going to set up the Emergency 911 service. Select E911 Management. Order a new E911 record. Now, update the E911 record. To avoid delay when emergency service is needed, make sure you have provided your information as accurate as possible here. Now let's create a company auto attendance for the business. Provide the company name and click next. 
provide the operating hours and click next. This is where you may allow callers to enter numbers and provide appropriate actions back to the callers. Once you're ready, click on Next. Now, map the phone number to trigger this auto attendant, and answer the rest of the questions you wanted to do. Click Next when finished. Under the screen, you may update your auto attendant's greeting messages. The greeting script has been created. You may use our text-to-speech program to create your message or record and upload the greetings on your own. Once ready, click on Finish to generate your auto attendant. Once the auto attendance is created, you may manage it in the IVR editor. Now we have successfully set up a basic office key phone system. The account is now under minute-based external calling plan. To change to monthly channel-based calling plan, select phone line settings. So this is it. Now, set up your local IP phones to connect to your device accounts, and you will be ready to go. You may also check out the other support tutorials and documents to learn more about the Ofiski project. I hope you like this video, and hope to see you soon.